They would have been truly perfect if Martin and Antonio had been home. Well, perhaps someday they will be. Oh, yes. I am certain of that. I know that one day Martin will come home to us. Wouldn't be too sure of that. Mm -hmm. I hope you get your wish, Pilar. I pray that your son and husband return. Thank you, Mrs. Crane. Morning, Pilar. Mr. Crane? Dear? Well, since you're here, I'd like to discuss New Year's. I've decided to change my benefit ball to a later date. I'm thinking of having a smaller New Year's Eve party. Ooh. Wasn't your little Christmas soiree and the success you'd envisioned? I had enough fun to last a lifetime. The idea of having the good townspeople from Harmony over again is... N -n -n -n. I'm not going to have an open house. It doesn't matter how many you invite, darling. Your love for the proletariat act is getting old. Now, what is this interest in the Bennets and the Russells? They're nice people. <laughs> Oh, uh, you have to do better than that, darling. There are all kinds of nice people out there. Doesn't mean you have to invite them into your home. Since when did you befriend anyone nice? And it sets you run with or elitist snobs and veteran backstabbers. Well, you've just described yourself. And I loathe you. Well, I know you like to think you do, my little sweetie pie. But you've got a fire in there I can still ignite. I'm really not in the mood for games this morning, Julian. <laughs> I won't have the party here. I'll have it at the country club or perhaps a restaurant. Oh, do whatever you like. You can invite the Rotary Club, the Brotherhood of the Elks, the entire middle class if you want. Just don't have them populate my living room. 